the RV Wingman's Call of the Week. Coming up now is a recent voicemail from a man who represents, I don't know, probably tens of thousands of people who uh, feel like they've been taken advantage of. If you're getting ready to buy an RV, this phone call is going to hopefully get your attention. Get your attention to slow down, to think. Don't let some pushy salesperson put you in a financial grave that you may never be able to climb back out of. Hey, my name's Myron Balchin, and I'm in Quitman, Texas. Uh, it's been a couple of years since we turned the RV back, but we went to Camping World in Tyler and uh, looking for something around 30 foot long, and uh, we ended up getting so many salesmen rattling at us, we ended up with a 43-foot avalanche. We had it for a little over a year, making payments we really couldn't afford. We used it once on the way back home from the lake. The, the couple of doors inside fell off. They were put together with little short screws and made the sawdust inside. Then we had the, the uh, Lippert automatic leveling, and the thing would end up well, leaking out and sitting on the ground in the front end and uh, blowing oil all over underneath the trailer, ruining the insulation. Uh, the first year I had it, it was under the the uh, warranty, and it was all taken care of. I bought a $4,000 five-year bumper-to-bumper warranty, and it covered the work, but they, it wouldn't cover the insulation. I had to pay for that myself. And after the fourth time taking it back and it being in there for almost three months, I used the federal law and that they had to take it back. I, I screwed my credit up big time, but now we don't have a trailer. We can't do anything, you know. And uh, uh, Lamonis whines that uh, if he's not happy or we're not happy, he's not happy. But you can't get him on the phone, I'll tell you that. You can email him, that's about it. But... Uh, I gave up. I don't know what to do. I'd like to get a used 30-foot RV fifth wheeler in fairly decent shape with no leaks. That's all I'm asking for. And I don't know how I'm going to do it now. And I really appreciate your show. I'm flabbergasted at what's going on there. I had no idea. And I'm watching you right now with Jay, Joy Olson in Missouri there talking. So I spoke with Mr. Balchin and actually interviewed him on uh, how he felt he was taken advantage of. We're going to have that interview up uh, very shortly as a podcast real soon. But I will tell you that he realize, realizes that he was also uh, at fault. He was. He told me that he should have known better, but he got caught up in the moment, like so many people do, and he's still paying the price long after that bad RV has been out of his life. Buying the right RV from the right RV dealer at the right price is what you need to look for. Remember, if all you do is focus on price or you let some pushy salesman twist your arm, you will most likely not be a happy camper. Smart RVers make for happy campers, and it is not smart to make an emotional decision when you are shopping for an item that can be as expensive as an RV can be. So what do you think? If you've got a show comment or a question, or you'd like to uh, let us know how you think we're doing, we'd love to hear that. Uh, we'll play maybe even your phone call on the air. So you can leave us a voicemail 24-7 at 1-330-WINGMAN, 1-330-WINGMAN, 1-330-946-4626.